Hi YouTube, it's Kathy. It is Thursday morning, which means it's the first day of the stay home reading rush. I haven't started reading yet. I didn't stay up last night to start reading. I just went to bed because I wanted to. We have four prompts this time around, and I think I'm going to fill three of those four prompts with a prints on paper. That's the reading in the same place, reading something with a home on the cover. There's buildings in the skyline, so somebody's got to live there. And then that should also fulfill something that will make me smile because I've liked the other two books and the novella in the series. As for something set somewhere you would like to go, I believe that this is mostly set in places that don't actually exist, unlike the second book in the series, which was set in my favorite place, which is Edinburgh, Scotland. So I'm going to have to find something else for that, but I'm going to focus on reading that one first. But first, it's first thing in the morning, so I have to do some yoga. And I just posted my video for the day. I've done my Instagram post for the day. So it is time to sit in this chair and read as much of this book as possible before I need snacks. Okay, I'm three chapters in and I'm enjoying this book. I knew I would because I've liked all the other books in the series, but I'm getting hungry and kind of want to go outside, so I'm going to switch over to the audiobook I've been listening to, which is called Kill the Farm Boy. It is kind of like a fairy tale, but it is super full of puns. It is a lot like a D&D campaign, and I'm really enjoying it, so I'm going to listen to that while I make some lunch and then eat it outside. Now it's time for coffee and more of my book. It's weird that I draw this line between like, I'm okay with people who are informed and having a fake relationship, but a fake engagement just seems like way over the top for me. Like, especially when somebody just kind of like asks out of the blue and then like whispers why it's happening. It's a little bit much for me, but I know I'm gonna end up loving this anyway. So one downside to this sitting in one place thing is it is really nice outside and I wanna go outside. So I'm gonna go outside, but I'm gonna technically stay home because I'm just gonna stay in the yard. Morning, it's Friday. I'm getting a late start to the day because there might have been drinks last night. There was also playing VR and just hanging out with my roommates, which was a lot of fun, but uh, also meant I needed to sleep in. I only have about 100 pages left, which means I can read somewhere other than here after I finish those, so let's get that done. So I finished a print on paper. I liked it enough. There were a few things that I was just like, uh, typical romance things, and I wasn't really into them at that moment, but that being said, it's not like they're bad things. The next book I'm going to read is boyfriend material and just based on the cover alone i assume that some of it's going to take place in london which is the city i'm supposed to be in right now but pandemic so i'm going to count this as my place i wish i could go but first i'm going to watch this week's survivor because apparently it's going to make me cry 
Yep, less than a minute into this episode and already crying. Alright, now that I bawled my eyes out at Survivor, because apparently that's a thing I do with my time, I just realized that there's a stay at home reading rush tag, so I figured I would do that as part of this vlog instead of doing a completely separate video because I don't have any space to put up any more videos this month, and any space I have is at the end of the month, and obviously that would be too late for that video, so let's do it as part of this one. The first question is, how is your reading going while staying at home? And it's been better. It's definitely slowed down. Part of that is, especially like a month ago when things really first started, I couldn't really focus on things. I've also mentioned how I make less time for audiobooks because that's something I used to do while I was in transit and it was just something I did all of the time so it got through things more quickly and easily. And now that I'm not in transit I have to actually think, oh yeah, I need to listen to that audiobook before it returns itself to the library. So it's getting better and events like this definitely help me but it has slowed down some. Not to mention I'm making all these videos as well so I don't have a lot of time outside of captioning and uploading and all of that. Where have I been reading while at home? A lot of it has been in this chair. I think the majority of the reading vlog I did for night film was all in this chair, actually. With the exception of there is a room in this house called the library. I sat there. It's a little bit of colder of a room, so I haven't really returned there. I have sat on the patio. Sometimes I read in bed, but this is the place where I do the majority. What's the best book you've read during isolation? And I had to go back through my spreadsheet and see, like, when Isolation started for me, and I guess that would have to be Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This is a debut novel. It is coming out in June. At least I hope it's still coming out in June because it's amazing. The protagonist is a trans boy. It's full of magic and wonderfulness, and just you should read it as soon as it comes out. Next it's asking what's your favorite feel-good book, and because I don't have something that is specifically a feel-good book, like I don't have a book I go back to just to make me feel good, I think that like light hearted contemporaries are generally that. So for the purpose of just saying a title, let's go with Red, White, and Royal Blue. I find myself wanting to reread it again, so maybe I will do that at some point. A book you wish you could buy or borrow from the library? I can still borrow things from my library. I'm borrowing things from the digital collection right now, so I haven't felt too much of a, oh my goodness, I wish I could be doing this type of thing because I can still get books through the library. It's next asking if there is an author I want to shout out during this time, and I guess I'll just go back and say Aiden Thomas because I really love reading their tweets. Their tweets are just very funny and such wonderful content. And then on top of that, to know that they wrote an amazing book. It's just so heartwarming right now. And my Reading Rush TBR, we've talked a little bit about this. I finished a Prince on Paper. I am listening to Kill the Farm Boy, which is not in any way part of the TBR, but I am going to be reading it during this time. And soon I'm going to start with boyfriend material. Although now that I've reminded myself that I'm working on a audiobook and that it is going to be returning itself to the library very soon, I might listen to more of that before getting into my new book. are taking forever to pop, I will just talk and they're gonna pop sooner because of that. Hi, it's Saturday morning. I haven't actually started boyfriend material yet, which is what I'm going to do right after I finish uh, eating this breakfast that I'm making myself. I also only have about an hour of the audiobook that I'm listening to left, so I might actually do that first just to get it done because I want there we go. I want to have an audiobook to wrap up for tomorrow, my weekly wrap up. And in about an hour and a half, I'm actually watching an episode of Better Call Saul with my roommate, who I'm not staying with because he's immunocompromised or not compromised so much as higher risk. Uh, so he is staying by himself in our apartment and I am living at my boyfriend's house. So that's how my life is going. It's been really weird to not live with him for the past month. I 
the big problem about reading books on my phone is I get on my phone and then the internet comes on because my phone spontaneously turns the internet on and then suddenly there's notifications and I'm not reading. So I'm finally getting around to reading. It's a time. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Whoops. But I finished uh, Kill the Farm Boy and I've also finished reading the webcomic version of Always Human. So I've been doing other reading, but now I'm going to read the thing I was actually supposed to be reading. I read the first chapter and I'm very much enjoying it so far. I think I'm really going to like this character. However, I did need to charge my phone, so I figured since I'm hungry anyway, I would make myself some progies before going on to chapter two. It is Sunday after making those progies yesterday where I burned the crap out of my finger, which uh, was a lot of fun, I, uh, but they were delicious so it's totally worth it. I read several more chapters of Boy From Material, really enjoyed it, and then my roommate came home from work and we had a barbecue where we had hot dogs and s'mores and then we watched a couple of movies in the newsroom and it was a really good night. Now I, this morning, have done my yoga. It's Sunday and the Canada Post is out, that's weird. And I filmed my weekly video, so I'm going to edit that now so I can put that up. I've already had a video out today. Today was my vlog for reading night film, but because it's Sunday, I have two videos that go up today because that's just how my schedule works out for my 34 and 34 project. Every time I do some exporting, I read some of my book. Does anyone else have this problem where if there's a cat on you, you just can't do anything about it and have to work around them? because that's what I've been doing. I've been leaning past Nam, and Nam is like, why are you do? It's about 11 o'clock on Sunday night. Did I finish my book? No. Did I get halfway through it, but have an amazing day hanging out with my roommates in the sun and watching news desk or news newsroom? Yes, yes I did, so I call it a success. That being said, of course, I'm just going to continue reading the book tomorrow because what else am I going to do? That's it for this reading vlog. Did you participate in this stay home reading rush? Let me know all about it down in the comments below. On the way down in the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!